Yo. Why did the blind man fall down the well? Was he doing your well in the first place? Because he couldn't see that well. That was a good one, I guess. Why does the pedophile always finish last in a race? I don't know. Because he always likes to come in a little behind. You're fucked. I'm Chris. This is Crack. Yo. This is another episode of 4 Minute and 20 Second Film Review. Chip. Uh, this week's a little bit different. Our friend Nate came through with this uh, this short film collection by er- Arturi Rostin. Yeah. Released by DIY Productions. And we're going to run through both of them in the 4 minutes and 20 seconds because they were kind of short. Yeah, yo. The first one's The Defiler. Um, the second one is called Trans. Thank you. So yeah, we're gonna start out this timer here for four minutes and twenty seconds, and do some film reviews. Well, what were they about? So first and foremost, these are some fucking these joints are from Finland. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Finland. Yeah, shit was pretty pretty crazy, yo. First one, it's kind of like it has like an '80s vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it it was like it took place in like a future, like a dystopian future where everything's all fucked up and. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Everything's kind of off a little bit. Um, basically, it's a, the, the main character is this chick that's built like fucking China. This big fucking diesel bitch getting out of jail. You know what I mean? Ends up killing mad people on the way to save her, her fucking uh, her, her girlfriend, yo. So, basically, she, she runs through mad motherfuckers, yo. Kills mad dudes along the way. Bitches along the way. And, um... Basically, at the last scene, is her killing the main dude who's holding her hostage. The dude injects her with something. She kills the dude and then has, like, the antidote. Injects her girlfriend and she, she turns back to normal and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, it ends, it ends well. Who's the second one? Second one is uh, about a junkie. Uh, this one's, like, it seems like more modern day type of shit. Filmed really well as well. Uh, this one is... Uh, main character is this dude who's like they've already started experimenting on him like this this doctor and this like his like you know what I mean kind of reminded me of some like Nazi type you know what I'm saying like experimental shit where they're doing some shit and he's all sick and he's telling me he don't want to be there and shit they're like nah follow me so he goes to the spot passes out wakes up and he's on like a fucking like a some type of surgical table but it's like this, it's in this shitty like dungeon, you know what I mean, it looks, it just looks like, it's just shitty, you know what I mean, and uh, basically the dude takes out, the doctor takes out a fucking, a scalpel, cuts open this dude's crotch, you know what I mean, and like this fucking creature comes out, yo, like an arm comes out, kind of look like a uh, fucking crab, like a big ass Alaskan king crab and shit, the big, you know what I mean, arm comes out, kills the assistant, kills him, kills everybody. What'd you like about it? First, uh, the first one, The Defiler. Actually, they were both shot really well, but The Defiler had that 80s vibe to it. Yeah. And the music was really dope. Uh, it, it started off well, had an 80s vibe to it as well. And um, yeah, man, that shit was fucking dope. Um, I liked the, the, the gore. Yeah. The gore basically was what kept me like really, you know, on the fucking, you couldn't look away for a second, cause especially in the Defiler, every scene somebody get killed, dog. Like, mm-hmm. yo, she goes through mad motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like the gore, like even the gunshots. She like shoot somebody in the head, and the whole fucking head would explode. Shoot somebody's arm, and it would like come off, and like, you know what I mean? Like it was really, it was, it, it was really well done. She was like, she was a, a fucking goon. She was like fucking, there was one chick she held against the wall and just like mashed her, her fucking hand into her face and like it just exploded basically, yo. She ran over this dude's head with, uh, with a uh, car. <sighs> so many fucking, so many crazy scenes. Even at the end when she kills that dude, um, it's just like some sort of like electrical force field around him and he's like magnetic and like all the fucking, you know, metal like hits him and shit and like this big fucking ball on a chain, you know what I mean? Hits him in the face and it's just insane, yo. 
Uh, also in the second one, really dope effects with the, uh, you know, when the, the doctor stabbed the fucking, the assistant and all the blood squirting out of the back of his neck with his like last breaths while he's breathing. Yeah, that shit was fresh. What didn't you like? I didn't really like the stories in them. The stories were good, but they weren't really told great. Um, but the gore made up for it, man. The gore was it, what really drew, like, drew me to it. And we'll keep, like, I'll go back to this film, both of them for sure. You know what I mean? And, and it's not for the story. Um, that shit was a little bit weak. Um, other than that, you know, some of the puking in the second one was like, I hate watching puke. I can't really dig it like that. Yeah. But uh, I definitely like the first one more. Out of a possible 3.5, The Defiler, I'm going to give that a 3.0. Um, and out of a possible 3.5, I'm going to give um, Trans a 2.7. That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah, these joints were fresh, yo. I'm, like I said, I, you know, there's some fucking, you know, from Finland and shit, and I, it was just really, it was really fresh, yo. Yeah. I'm I'll it's, watch them again. It's cool stuff going on in Finland like that. Yeah, big shout out to Nate Levine for always coming through with that fire. Yeah. Word. Shout out to Nate Levine. Um, like I said before, these were released on a two pack from DIY Productions. Jan from DIY Productions put them out. Um, that's a dude that you should keep your eye on too because he's got these short compilations that he just dumps out regularly with like 12 shorts in a row. Um, but yeah, I'll put the link to that in the description. Uh, these are really cool. Definitely worth checking out. We'll see you in a week. Bye!